foundation is already on now it's time to put on the war paint first I'm going to take a light concealer and bring out the under eyes forehead nose and chin she also has a very sculpted body and face so it's only right that I contour I'm making streaks along the cheeks temples jawline and also emphasizing the neck and decollete now this is where I get a good arm workout. I'm taking my damp beauty blender and bouncing it all over till the concealer has blended flawlessly. For contour, I'm using my dense oval brush and blending it up and down small circular motions for depth and dimension. Now I just have to bring out these gorgeous Wonder Woman brushes from Luxie. I probably should just decorate them, but I couldn't help using one to set my face. For the brows, I'm using City Color Cosmetics Bold Brow Powder. I'm also using this cool brow shaping stencil to make sure that the brows look symmetrical. I just gotta fill in and touch up to achieve the perfect set of brows fit for Wonder Woman. On the eyes, I'm going to use the popular new Naked Heat eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. The reddish brown shadow is going to be my transition color. Next on the lids, I'm taking this liquid gold pigment from Pure Cosmetics. You can use a yellow eyeshadow as well. I just wanted to match the gold on my costume. Now back to the palette, I'm picking up this burgundy eyeshadow and placing it right above the gold on the outer corners to define the eyes. And then I'm going to do a quick sweep with this warmer brown and work it on the lower lash line. To line my eyes, I'm using this Aqua XL Eye Pencil from Makeup Forever. This is in matte black and I'm simply gonna glide this above my upper lash line and then just go over it a few times till I get that desired thickness. After that for the lashes, I've got Doshe Max Lash Volumizer Mascara in my hand. I'm gonna pull out its chubby wand and sweep few coats to amplify and add extra length to the lashes. It's amazing how false lashes instantly elevate your look. I'm using this pair called Bombshell from Pure and I'm just placing it right above my upper lash line with this handy lash applicator. To warm up my skin, I'm going to contour some more using this IT Cosmetics palette. I'm brushing that light brown on the sides of my face, hairline, jaw, and especially on the cheekbones because I want my face to look really toned and fierce like Wonder Woman. On the cheeks, I went with this beautiful rosy blush called Bomb Springs from the Bomb Cosmetics. I'm applying this with a light hand just above the chiseled cheekbones. Finally, for the lips, I started out by drawing an X on the Cupid's bow. I used the Spice Lip Liner from MAC, and then I'm gently tracing out the outer corners before I color in the whole lip. Then for a hint of color, I'm applying this whipped lip and cheek souffle from NYX Professional Makeup. Once the costume is on, make sure that your face matches with the rest of your body. You can use a body bronzer, tanner, or even a dark foundation. I'm taking Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Body Lotion and rubbing it on for that bronzy goddess-like skin. After slipping on the cuffs, I've become Diana of Themyscira, daughter of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons. In the name of all that is good, your wrath upon this world is over.